morning, what's up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true latest character. And well, today we got ourselves a match against Thomas, Dead the Rizzle Man. And what can I say about him that hasn't been said before? We have battled a few times before, and uh, yeah, basically, I, he's a very, very tough player, and he was my first battler on my stream that I had today. And it turned out to be a pretty, really nice game. A lot of good games was played this day, so um, you can expect if you were a part of the stream that a lot of those battles are going to be uploaded with my well, beautiful voice intuitive to them. Now, looking through the original man's team, he's a trickster player. That means that he actually likes to have a Pokemon that aren't really going down, but are a good synergy with the team and just try to set up things and annoy the shit out of your team. So my team isn't... Not designed around that, but you can cope with it much better than my teams before. So looking at this team, we got Samurott, Typhlosion, Garbodor, Bastiodon, Roselia, and Swallow. And of course, Swallow is going to be the most potent one because, hell, I hate Swallows. They hit so goddamn hard. I have no real Pokemon that can take that type of damage. And look at my team. I got Lick Licky. Uh, which is a leftover set with Wish. Uh, I got a Saltvest Polarad, Taunt Electrode, Wit, Life Orb, and um, Thick Club, Marowak, of course. Sucker Punch, Victory Bell, Wit, uh, Life Orb, which I actually didn't put on this time. I actually put on Black Sludge. And it's gonna come to back, bite me somewhat in the ass. And a filler is Swanna. I really want something to fly. Swanna was the one to go. And I have, I don't think I ever use Swanna. So, um, very, very unappreciated, and it's not going to get her well game going here. Like, it was just wasn't her day. It is that simple. So anyway, guys, I do think that he's gonna start off with a Garbodor. So with all of this in mind, let's go. I myself is gonna start with Licky Licky because I do want to shut down with her post coming with a knockoff. Well. He's gonna start with a Swallow, and uh, there is really nothing I can do here. I'm just gonna go for, like I said, for a knockoff, hoping for him not to have to protect. You know, knocking off the Flame Orb would be an excellent play, but he had to protect. So, not a bad play, my opponent, really not. And it goes for U turn just to get some ship damage going, and uh, yeah, I'm in trouble, basically. So, I'm just gonna go for a Body Slam, hoping for some damage, to be honest. He's gonna bring the Bastard on, and uh, that is. That is pitiful. His leftover is actually going to take him back to his sturdy. Uh, I do decide to stay in here knocking off the leftovers because I don't want to be in a situation where the sturdy saves him and to contrast to that makes it kind of tough for me to deal with him. Uh, plus I know this thing can't pack Metal Burst so I really, really don't want to fart myself out shortly. So um, basically I don't want to take a Toxic. I know this thing can pack that so I decided like I said go for knockoff. Turn it off somewhat and I set up Swords Dance with my Victory Bell. He will go for Roar here, and that is a very, very good play in some regards. I do get out of my Dakar here, which is my Polar Rat, and I'm just gonna go for Brick Break, and yeah, it is not enough to take him out, but I'm extremely lucky here. He goes for Roar and not Metal Burst, so my Polar Rat fights another day, and Bermude is back, or rather, is in this battle, and I'm just gonna go for Safe Scald. At the range of Bastion Wasted, there was no way in hell he's gonna save that one. It per served a purpose with the self rocks, and I think that was kind of fine. Uh, I have no spin on my team, so it, the rocks are here to stay. So Swallow is here, and there is really, like I said, nothing that can really take a hit from this guy. And I'm just gonna hope that my Licky Lickies can kind of cope with it. It cannot. It, it, that is just the worst kind of damage. And basically, I'm just going for Protect, you know, just getting the damage from the Flame Orb going. And then I'm going to decide to sack off my Bermude, because really, my Licky Licky is probably one of the key players in this battle because of the Wish support. So, having that in mind, I know I have to switch out and I have to sack something. And uh, Swana was, well, to say the least, n the worst suited for this battle. It probably was the best choice of two against the Roselia. But there's where this story ends for this, and uh, I get a safe switch into my Volt Orb. Now I know, like I said, that it is no, it is Flame Orbit and not like Scarf or anything like that. So I can't have speed. I'm just gonna go if I remember correctly for a Volt Switch, and Rosella is gonna come in, of course, soaking that. I should definitely have gone for a Thunder Wave or whatever, but I did not do that, and um, I actually ending up taking more damage from the Life Orb than I did to the Rosalia. So anyway, Derpasaur is here. Derpasaur has one utility, it can kind of brutalize upon it, and that is, like I said, wishes, 
is gonna help me out because Rusilia can't really take this thing down and my opponent here, the Rissleman, is very aware of that gonna set up a Toxic Spike hoping that, or rather he's gonna bait me out to, I'm pretty, pretty much forced here to bring Victory Bell if that's the case and uh, I decided to go for another Protect hoping for him to try to attack me uh, he decides to go for another layer and you know that's fine like I said for the very same reason he knows now that I am forced to bring the Victory Bell and go into um, play accordingly so like I said I'm going to switch out I really really don't want to have the Toxic Spikes inbound and um, yeah Sludge Bomb is the right choice here and like I said he did see this one coming and uh, I can't take two of those I simply can't and had I had a life orb here I would actually have killed this thing it actually lives it lives with a slither of health but god freaking damn it it is enough to take out my Waldine my Victor Bell so Victor Bell not coming through this battle sadly but I'm gonna bring my phony the black <laughs> or them the phony Pokeball or Electro just gonna go for single beam taking this thing out and uh, yeah I knew I had to do something like that. There's no way in hell I could play around it. So the way he brings in type lotion tells me it is scarfed. So um please they are kinda kinda common with scarf, aren't they? So I decided to switch out to my um polarap which is assault vested. I won't say I soaked this damage well, but you know, in contrast to what I have to do, it's kinda fine. And I decided to go for an EQ here, hoping for him to guard bring the Garbador. He just not, does not do this and uh, Luckily for me, it did not bring the Swallow, which uh, would just have been terrible. So I have to take that knockoff, and that is, it kind of sucks, it really does. But uh, after his attack, I'm going to follow up with a Brick Break. And it turns out that we are both in a speed tie, and next turn, I will outspeed and go for the EQ, finish it off. I was actually hoping for him to switch out, of course, and the Brick Break seems kind of brisky with the Garbodor inbound, because he can't soak out the damage. So he will actually end up going for a Hidden Power Gross here, and I am able to live this! And the reason that is so important is because now the eruption is not as powerful. I can actually cope with this type lotion much, much better. But this type lotion is going to be the vein of my existence if I ever saw one. I'm basically going to bring Derpasaur here back again. And since I know his luck to hit him power, I know I can set up a wish and actually recover back on. And uh, yeah, that's great. That is all I ever wanted. And he's gonna bring on the Swallow here, trying to take it out. I am definitely gonna be the Stolly guy here, because I have no way of dealing with this Swallow besides my Electro, which definitely can't switch into this. Which means I have to sack something if I want to deal with the Swallow, and I am not that comfortable in this situation. It is, it is really that simple. So, I do decide here to... Like I said, just stall him out. I know it looks terrible, and hell, I feel terrible to be honest and I basically that facade is roughly over 50% and you know that damage is sincerely real and I need to cope with this and he's gonna see me right through me and of course I see it I'm gonna go for protect and it's too risky for me not to I definitely should have you know maybe gone for a knockoff or anything like that but he is feeling desperation right now so I do get to wish here and after this, I'm definitely gonna switch out to my Marowak, which have yet to see the light of day, and his name is Xenon. And he's gonna go, you know, for the best of his ability for draining, uh, draining punch here to get some damage going. Obviously not doing too much, so we'll end up going for Explosion, trying to take me out. But Marowak is made for another day, and will not take it out by the likes of Garbodors. So anyway, it's not like this Marowak can do anything from this point anyway. So, uh, yeah, it, he, he's just fodder. It is that simple. It kinda sucks, but hey, that's the situation we're in. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna bring my Voltorb here, because now I do got like a sack switch in, which is all I really wanted. So we're both down 2-2, two to two, and I'm gonna go for Volt Switch, because, well, it is my best bet. The crit obviously did not matter, but hey, the first crit of the game, yay! So anyway, it is type lotion against Licky Licky, and like I said, I did expect it to be Scarf, which means one thing and one thing only. A Body Slam will not take it out, and I can't really hope for hacks and hope that the Paralyzation will take it out, but I feel, I feel you no know, confidence that I can take a Flamethrower or anything like that. He actually gonna pack, pack the Focus Blast, and it is not enough to take me out. And the knockoff will of course knock off the freaking annoying and oh so deadly Scarf. Which means that now my Electro is able to outspeed, but the bigger question is, even if I am able to outspeed, 
am I strong enough to actually take it out with a volt, <laughs> volt switch? And this is what it all is going to come down to. You know, I'm summoning my strength. I pray to the higher god. Electro, please. You're not investing in any special attack whatsoever. But please, for my sake, do it. Take it out. Take it out. And it is actually able to do that. And it just... Ooh, such a close game. Had I not been able to take it out, Death will come back and bite me in the ass, and I will not have been able to take a flavor from that range. So, the rest of the man, Thomas, really good game, man. That definitely came down to the wire, and god damn, that was exciting. So, yeah, I don't have too many ending thoughts. I really believe we both did the best of our abilities to kind of cope with one another, and that's why it's such a close game, too. I really didn't feel any misplays, or I didn't think that if I'd done differently, or he done differently, that the game would have ended differently, besides the obvious point of the last matchup being just... Just the closest kind of matchup, you, you, you just don't find that every day. So, guys, with that in mind, make sure to check my next battle tomorrow, and um, yeah, basically, if you like this battle, of course, don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, because this is a very, very nice place. I promise, we still got bear. I like a lot of them, so make sure to check this one out. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.